In this video, I'll show you how to correct label orientation errors when you know that you have the correct label size in your custom configuration. All right, so let's uh, take a look at this. There's my Dymo Label Writer 450, and you can print individual labels one at a time, and I really like this. And here I'm on a Mac, and this is Pages right here, and so we have a, a label. You know, just say we're going to mark some machine screws. The label size is 30334, which is two and a quarter wide by one and a quarter tall. So let's print this. And this doesn't look right. Um, we try and print it like this. It's wrong. And you say, well, okay, let's put it in this orientation. And we try and print it. Now there isn't anything here. I will save the label and not print it because nothing will print. So what's going on here? This is a major pain because it doesn't seem to make any difference which way I go. You can take a look at all of these different things like the layout, look at the paper handling, the cover page, etc., etc., And it just simply will not print right when you know that you have the correct label and everything else. So here's what you need to do to fix this. You go, uh, so what I have done is I have created another one. I called it test 30334 because uh, this is how I debugged the issue. But we can rename this later. And we'll take a look here. And now we see that this appears to be correct. I have it in this orientation. Let's print it. And there you go, you have a perfect label which matches exactly what we have. So what's the difference? Well, the difference is this. I swapped the dimensions. So this is two and a quarter wide by one and a quarter tall. And instead of going over here, one and a quarter wide by two and a quarter tall. So basically, we're telling the printer that the paper is in the other orientation without swapping any one of these two. So now, when we have it oriented like this, the correct dimension is that we want to sh do it so that it looks like this. And then when we print it, that it prints like this. Okay, so how do you do that? And I'm going to show you how to do this on a Mac. So if you're on a Windows machine, it might be different. Page setup, and then scroll all the way to the bottom. It says manage custom sizes. Okay, so now you can see where I had called this test 30334. And the first time I had done this, I had done the width and the height as it seemed logical to me. So what you do is you hit this little plus sign right here, and that pops up a new a configuration. And then here is where I change the orientation and I put the width as one and a quarter and the height as two and a quarter. And now we can rename this. And then maybe I could just say correct. And all the margins are zero. Because labels, we really don't want margins, but maybe you do on yours. And then we're good to go. So now it is uh, something intuitive, like the 30334, the correct version. And I guess I could delete the other one, but I think I had another program that actually used it that way. So that's how you can fix this and get this to stop printing in the wrong orientation and very quickly. And I have tested this with both this Label Writer uh, 450 and also my Rolo. And so the behavior is the absolute same. So um, it isn't really a driver here. It's more in just the configuration of how you have the label.